So ilibindi nirundi tena. Nirundi sasa kwa bonako. Kwa bonako tena. Uh -huh. Ilibindi nirundi. Eh hey, nikirundi ni matusi tu. Eh hey, sijaiona mwanamke mjinga kama wewe. Mhm. Uh -huh. hmm? Una, unatoka, unaenda, na unarudi. Kwa nuna kaanga aja? Wauna kwenu? Na kufukuza hapa nusiki kutoka. Si hivu umejenga hiyo nyumba. Hiyo nyumba utajira rata siku moja. Sani ilifika mani nikaone nyewe? Hapa nimejioa. Hapa <laughs> <laughs> nimejioa. Hapa <laughs> nimejioa na si, sioni hiyo. Mina watoto hivi tu. Tuko family, our guest today, Purity, works for an entire month without earning. Yes, she has a pay slip, but it reads zero. How did she end up here? Well, a man is involved. My name is Kimori Wangeshi. This is my story right here on Tuko. Let's listen in. Santi Puri, kutukaribisha. Tuskie story yako. But did you introduce Kwanza? Kwanza, acha ni washukuru kwa kunipea inafasi. Kwa majina na ito Purity Kadure. I'm a mother of two endurable daughters, and I'm a nurse by profession. Mm -hmm. Una practice department gani eh, kwa hospitali? For now, I'm working in theater, mm -hmm. and I've been working there for the last two years. Mm -hmm. I've been working in the last for the last nine years. Nine years? Yeah. Wow. Uh, you indeed have the experience. Yeah, I have. Mm -hmm. Tuko hapa to ski a story yako, ambayo ulituandikia. Yeah. Tukaona it is... Uh, worth giving you a shoulder to lean on yeah. as well as an ear. Hey, how did you meet up? Were you working? Tuanzi uh, hapa. Okay. We tulikutana na hui baba watoto and tukwa tumenda for experience, mm -hmm. for psychiatric experience in Meru. Mm -hmm. That was back in 2013. Mm -hmm. Tukajuana, hiyo time tulikuwa huko, mm -hmm. hiyo wakati kuisha, tukarundi tena shuleni. Na from there, tukaendelea mpaka, hile time nilimaliza college. Mm -hmm. So, after nilimaliza college, that one I realized I'm pregnant. Mm -hmm. So, by good luck, nikapata kazi hospital ngini hapo. Mm -hmm. Nikapua nikifanya kazi hapo, mm -hmm. mpaka nikapata mtoto. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, at that time, were you living together or you were living separately? Okay, that time before, before I was in the hospital, I was in the hospital, I am pregnant. Mm -hmm. And I can remember the last day in college, I was in the hospital, I was in the hospital. So I was in my aunt, I was in the hospital, I was in the hospital. Mi ni kwa najua siendi uko sherehe but nilimwambia tuliko na sherehe nzioni. Uh -huh. But what I didn't nili nilienda kwao. Tutakwenda uh -huh. kwao hiyo njioni ndio nilikuwa nimemwambia sasa hiyo siku ndio nilimwambia. Uh -huh. Kumwambia what he did aliniacha kwa nyumba uh -huh. that night uh -huh. akaenda uh -huh. but alikuja tena masaa ya asubuhi ya asubuhi. Uh -huh. So the moment sasa alikuja alienda wapi? Yes, you are in the But Aditoka, Arakuja, around Kitoro, mint nights, Akalete Chakuria, Akayacha Potena Katoka. So Kutoka, Akakuja, Masa, Subuya Subu. That the time with the Muluza, Bono Naniata, Konumba, and you may come here with any call. I'm not eating anything. So I'm going to go to the Queen and Pereka Bill. Sasa Nikoao, Nimbani, and Mako Nimbani. Kwa kwa nyumbani. Mm -hmm. So, hiyo nyumba tulikuwa, mm -hmm. walikuwa wanaishi wote mm -hmm. na brother zaki. Mm -hmm. So, vile nilimulizi, it was the first day he rented his hands on me. The same, same night. So, mi nili asubui, vile asubui nifika mi nili jitoa nikaenda. Mm -hmm. Ea kaachwa kuwao. So, why did he lay a hand on you? Sijui ni vile nilimuuliza mbona amekuja saa hii aliniacha uh -huh. akaenda na najua vile niko njua uh -huh. hiyo chakula nileta si kuikula uh -huh. so vile asubuhi fika nikatoka nikaenda by going straight sasa after 3 months hivi uh -huh. ndio nilipata kazi huko hospital nyingine kwa sendia egoji uh -huh. so nikaama nyumbani but hiyo time nikiama nyumbani walikuwa washajua uh -huh. niko na mimba uh -huh. 
lakini uh, sikuwa nimewambia ni ya nani mm-hmm. so nikahamia hiyo hospitali nikapewa nyumba huko najua Mungu anakuangalia na mipango yake mm-hmm. so mi nika, nikapata kazi huko nikaanza kukaa huko mm-hmm. so yeye yeah, alikuja sasa ili kwa mbaki ilikuwa tulitoka shule ya August sasa nilipata kazi Oktoba mm-hmm. so after shule zilifungwa sasa yeye akakuwa akarudi nyumbani sasa kurudi nyumbani ndio sasa alitafuta mtu akakuja na yeye kwetu mm-hmm. afiki yake akakuja nyumbani akasema nyumba ni yake mm-hmm. sasa disemba ikaisha hiyo tema alikuwa anakuja kuja huko na kuwa na kaa but alikuwa na rara huko anakuja anaenda mm-hmm. akikuja anaenda so disemba ndio after disemba ikaisha january ikafika si atarudi huko mm-hmm. january kufika <coughs> so so april April before nitifungue. Sasa ndio walikuja na na babake, uh-huh. mamake na uncle zake nyumbani kwetu. Wakakuja nyumbani, wakasema ni wao kwa nani. Uh-huh. So mimi nika wakarudi tena, yeye akarudi kazi. Na mimi nikarudi mali nafanya kazi. Nitajifungua, after kujifungua niliendelea kukaa pale. Mali nafanya kazi. Nikakaa hapo. So Uh, after kukaa hapo hii ilikuwa 2016 nikakaa hapo 2017 2018 sasa kutoa on August ndio sasa akiwa hapo nikamwambia nika sanju ile nikaona hapa kuendi vizuri mm-hmm. akuji kwangu mm-hmm. nikipiga simu kwao naambiwa yuko mm-hmm. sasa sijui mahali yako i think alikuwa anataka advantage ya ako kwao na mimi niko huko so naweza sema ako kwao kwa kwao uh-huh. naweza sema ako kwao uh-huh. but nikaona akuindi vizuri nikamwambia itabindi tena nyumbani juu sasa niliona kumeanza kuwa na challenges hapa eh yeah, akuwa anataka tuende nyumbani but ilibini twende but before that before, before, before twende nyumbani sasa ni nyumbani gani mnaenda nyumbani size. kwao uh-huh. Before that nakumbuka ilikuwa the hiyo mbadde ya mtoto wetu wa wa kwanza sasa. Uh-huh. That was the second time sasa event is on so. Vizuri. Vizuri sasa ilikuwa mbadde ya mtoto tulikuwa uh-huh. hapo tunasherekea. Sasa yeye aka alitoka sendia table room akaenda bedroom. Sasa sijui nini alifikiria sijui aliona nini kwa simu i don't know but before even we talked ama tuongee kuhusu anything ndio alianza kunichapa sasa na tayari mbadhi ndio ilisha hiyo tu mm-hmm. sasa after hao watu wetu walikuja mimi nikapeleka hospitali don't know nilikuwa najua ni hiyo ponda for me but ni reply on medication mm-hmm. na after two to three days nikatoka hospitali mm-hmm. so yo ndio ikaisha akaenda akarudi shule tukaendelea hivyo sasa ikaanza life si nzuri sasa hizo hiyo mlikuwa kwako kwako side eh huko sasa ni mali kwa tafanya mm-hmm. kazi before twende kwa nyumbani mm-hmm. sasa sasa tukaendelea hivyo akaanza badalau sasa mm-hmm. lakini kitu anakuja nayo nyumbani ni mimi na am um, catering for the bills kutoka msana wa kazi mm-hmm. eh, so nilikuwa nalipia bills zangu zote mm-hmm. so sikuwa naona ikiwa any big deal hata kama kuna kitu analeta kwa nyumba so ikafika hiyo august august 2018 sasa ndio after alikuja nyumbani ndio sasa akuniambia niacha kazi sasa nikaanza kuona challenges zile ziko hakuna nini nikamwambia eh sasa itabindi ni tuende nyumbani maisha nimekuwa ngumu at least hata tukiwa nyumbani hii kazi ya hii pesa yanapea msana najua mtoto sahi ni mkubwa kwa bila anaweza kuwa anaangaliwa hata na mama na, naenda kazi at least tuli tukatakati hizo expenses ziko yeye kwa anataka but mimi ndisist tuende tukaenda nyumbani so after tulienda nyumbani mimi niliacha kazi huko nilikuwa nafanya but nilipata kazi ya hospitali kwa karibu na kwao nyumbani. Mm-hmm. Nikaanza kufanya kazi hapo, eh aendi kazi sasa. Mwaka ya kwanza ya pili. Maisha yakakuwa ngumu sasa. Sasa ndio mali tuliamia kwao sasa akukua na nyumba. Mhm. Hiyo nyumba tulikuwa tunakaa ilikuwa ni kinyumba imejengwa but walikuwa nakaa wote, brothers wake wote. Mhm. Kuna mwanyalikuwa anaishi hapo permanent na kuna mwanyalikuwa Nairobi saa kikuja 
bado nakaa hapo. Mhm. Mm Tukaendelea kukaa hapo kwa hiyo nyumba but commotion ilikuwa sana. Mhm. Mm ilikuwa commotion ilikuwa kila mtu ataka kufanya mambazo yake nyumba ni moja. Mtu ataka kuleta watu wake nyumba ni moja. Tulikuwa tunaishi nyumba moja. Tulikuwa tunaishi nyumba moja. Bedroom ndio tofauti. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tunashia nyumba but bedroom ni tofauti mm -hmm. na mradada zake. Mhm. Mm wow, mlikuwa wangapi nyinyi wote? Okay the other uh -huh. but mwenye alikuwa nakaa hapo ni mmoja uh huyo -huh. mwingine ni akikuja okay. anaishi hapo uh -huh. but chukua mimi nilikuwa nakaa huko na watoto na uh -huh. na, na yeye yeah, sasa ndio uh -huh. sio sikuwa na kazi uh -huh. so bila nili sasa hiyo nyumba yenye uh -huh. sasa yeye yeah, alikuwa na, anajenga nyumba sasa uh -huh. but ilikuwa ilikuwa complete ndio ilikuwa imeanza so akaniambia sasa sasa unaona vile hapa kuna kaa na kwa tukibishana kila wakati na hawa watu wetu sasa itabidi tutafute pesa tu tumalizie nyumba yetu. Mm, mlikuwa mmeanza kujenga. Yeah, iko imeanza. Mhm. Mm Wapi uko? Chogoria. Mhm. Mm uko kwenye ilikuwa inajengwa ni kwa nani? Kwa nyumbani. Mhm. Mm kwa nyumbani. Okay. So nikamwambia sio unajua yeye yuko kazi mm -hmm. na ana ile source of income so ilibidi mimi nichukue ile room tuweke pale nikachukua hiyo pesa tukajenga nyumba ikafika ikafika mahali pa kuweka hizi mabati ile kwa loan ya kwanza ilikuwa pesa ngapi ilikuwa nga ilikuwa nga 200 mhm mm ilikuwa loan ya kwanza mhm mm nikampea but si si eti nilimpea yote mm -hmm. si kumpea pesa yote nasema mama amount nilibaki nayo mm -hmm ndio tulikuwa tumeangalia sasa hii ingine lazima nitafuta maji nitainvest sasa so but yeye yeah, alikuwa anataka sana ndio hata nikimwambia acha niende nitafute nyumba hiyo market iko huko ni nifanye biashara nyingine anakataa ananiambia ukienda huko ukitoka hapo utafute ukitafuta nyumba ya biashara utafute pamoja na akuishi mhm huwezi fanyia kitu kingine hapa utatosheka ni hiyo mshahara uko nayo So after tu nyumba ime ime janga jengo kidogo hiyo nikachukua hiyo loan nyingine kwanza kidogo unatupeleka mbio sana okay. ha hiyo loan ilikuwa 200000 yeah. nyumba ilikuwa inatosha na aje ilikuwa yeah. rooms ngapi dream bedroom mm -hmm. yeah e, na mlikuwa mnaijenga ya permanent ama ilikuwa e, aina gani ya nyumba ni permanent house mm -hmm. yeah. so So vile sasa tuliendelea hivyo mm -hmm. tukatulia tulia kidogo juu sasa hii pesa sikuwa nimelipa mm -hmm. but hiyo nyumba tulikuwa tunaishi ilikuwa na mambo mingi sana mtoko mm -hmm. mingi sana mali gawaniwe katikati kuna leo wataishi side ya table room wengine waishi side ya nyuma mhm lakini ukiangalia tu ni vituko juu sasa kuna mwenye atakuja asubuhi asubuhi aseme lazima nyumba ifai kufungwa mtu akikuja kuja sasa ile anataka na bado unaishi na watoto huko. Na nikaona hii ni challenge kubwa sana. But tulikaa kwa for a while before before ni nichukue hiyo pesa nyingine. But sasa vile vile aliendelea kwa hapo nyumbani hata nini yake ikachange sana. I don't know. Sijui ni vile akuwa na kazi ama nini tu ofa na kienda akikuja kuna time ataenda weekend kama ni saturday nasema anaenda ku watch okay. akikuja asubuhi ni vita mm -hmm. i remember there is a day when alikuja asubuhi asubuhi alikuwa anakujanga na gonga gonga ndirisha hiyo siku siku sikia sam mtoto alisikia mtoto akanihita mam ndadi anaitana so vile niliamka vile niliamka nikaenda kumfungulia nikaona sasa ni vita. Hii nyumba si yako. Ni bana fa kurudi sasa ile nataka. Nafaa nikipisha hivyo unafungua mbio mbona ufungue nyumba mtoto anasikia mbele yako kwa nini? Sasa ni hii nyumba mnaishi pamoja na brother za zake. Ama ni gani tunazungumzia? Nini? Nyumba hmm. ni hii yenye mlikuwa mnaishi na brothers. Yes, ni hiyo mm -hmm. sasa. Hii nyingine bandu ijaja, mm -hmm. ijakamilika. Mm -hmm. So ni hiyo sasa yenye tunaishi si wote. Mm -hmm. So vile niliona ile asira na kuja nayo mimi sikufungua. Mhm. Mm Nilisema cha afadhali nikae ndani kuliko nifungulie ndio unajua nikifungua mm -hmm. nitatandikwa bando. Mm -hmm. Mimi sikufungua but alianza kuvunja vunja vio, alivunja vio. Mm -hmm. 
vile saa kitchen mali ni kwani naeka vitu za nyumba kushika zote akirusha huko chini sikivunjika vunjika pavunja vyunja vyo but sasa ilikuwa imefika ilikuwa around 5 hapo saa asubuhi ikafika vile mm-hmm. asubuhi ilifika ilijua saa ile ya track attention ya watu mm-hmm. wakakuja hapo chief akaitwa wakaniambia nifungue that is the moment sasa nilifungua but bando vile nilifungua mm-hmm. aliingia kuingia akafunga nyumba na ndani akafunga nyumba na ndani sasa akafunga akanisukuma ndi bedroom sasa sasa kaanza kunitandikia huko ndio sasa hata chief akiongea na yeye anamtusi kila mtu akiongea na yeye anamtusi akantandika but last year akaniachilia mimi nikatoka hiyo siku nilitoka nikaenda mhm uliumia niliumia na nikaambia babake ona juu alikuwa anatumia kiatu kunichapa kichwa mhm na nitepe kichwa na kiatu nikaona sitavumilia hapo nikafika simu nyumbani mamangu wakakuja nikatoka sasa nikaenda nikarent mahali huko chogoni sasa kurent huko nikakaa huko but saka sasa si force nirudi juu ya mtoto sasa uh-huh. juu ile ile siku niko off kama niko kazi weekend sina mahali pa kuacha mtoto ndio time sasa nilikuwa nishachukua loan pesa nimejikomit kwa ile loan sasa uh-huh. so ile pesa inabaki ni kidogo plus hiyo hospitali sasa tulikuwa tuna take time kulipa naweza kaa tu months kama mjaribu. Mm-hmm. So nilikuwa na hiyo challenge sasa una sina pesa ya kulipa nyumba. Si ilikuwa inabindi nirudi. Nikirundi mm-hmm. inakuwa ni matusi tu. Unafukuzwa hapa na utoki hapa kwani hauna kwani. Nani anakutusi sasa hizo? Ni yeye. Mhm. Nauliza kwani hauna anga kwenu. Mbona unaenda unaji, unajitoa hapa unajipeleka huko unajirundisha. Kwani usiki utoke hapa? Mimi juu sikuwa na hata wewe ilikuwa inabidi nifanye nini nikae tu. Uh-huh. Tukaendelea kuishi hivyo. Tukaendelea kuishi hivyo but ilikuwa shinda tu peke yake. Kuchapwa na wandi then. Na hakuna kitu anataka nifanye kwa hiyo mboma. Hakuna kitu kama nini? So hata nikisema sasa nataka kulisha kuku. Mhm. Uh-huh. nataka unijengee mali pa kulisha kuku ananitisha pesa ampe hiyo pesa ajenge uh-huh. ikiwa anajenga kitu yenye anataka tu si yenye mimi nataka na mwambie nataka unitengenezeka kitu kama kaa hivi uh-huh. asema hapana mimi siambi yangu mimi nitafanya vile nataka uh-huh. vile nataka ama anaambia si hapa uh-huh. utafanyia hizo vitu hapa nitataka kufanyia hizi vitu hapa itabidi utoke ukafanyia wapi mbali si hapa hata nikimwambia niweke biashara si hapa. Ni uh-huh. hizo uweke mbali. Utoke, ukaweke huko kama ukai hapa. Bati si hapa. Unajua sio sasa sana ni nili nachelewa na sina kitu. Uh-huh. Maisha ikakuwa ngumu sana. Nikimwambia tafuta kazi nyingine si lazima ngojee hiyo kazi ya walimu. Nasema eti na, na direct maisha yake. Uh-huh. Sifai kuwa na na, na, na poraki anakula na nakunywa. Uh-huh. Sifai kumwambia bila ataishi maisha yake. I used to pray na mimi Mungu tu mpe kazi kama ndio itakusaidia mm-hmm. mpe kazi I used to pray as a beautiful wife ulikuwa naomba na, I, I used to pray mm-hmm. nilikuwa naomba nilikuwa namwombea sana saa tisa ya usiku <laughs> and did it mm-hmm. nilikuwa naomba sana mm-hmm. tunalisha nguruwe kuna hiyo time sasa alianza kujisha nguruwe mm-hmm. after alianza kujisha nguruwe ni saa tutalisha nitakuwa namsaidia maybe kuosha mm-hmm. Na yale mimi ananunulia chakula, sasa ile ana chakula na mpea pesa nyingine ananunulia chakula. Mbati kifika time ya kuuza. Mhm. Basi juu nini naouzwa, imeuzwa pesa ngapi? Mhm. I remember the the highest amount ya mimi pia akiwa ameuza nguruwe. Ni 2000 peke yake. 2000 shillings. Yes. Kwa nguruwe ilikuwa zinauzwa pesa ngapi? Nguruwe moja iko imeenda pesa kidogo ni 15,000. Na alikuwa anauza kama nguruwe tano. Mhm kuruwe ine tano kinde kaya ya stemeni pia ni 2000 na 2000 si utairumisha hapa ni bandu mhm utakula na yeye pia bandu sijaiona mimi sijaiona ile amekuja eti nime sasa nimepata hii pesa nimenunua hii shopping nimekuja na tufanyie hapana sijaiona maisha yangu sijaiona 
wewe ndio ulikuwa unafanya hizo vitu. Eh ndio ndio hivi, mimi uh-huh. nilikuwa nafanya kila kitu. Uh-huh. Kabisa, kabisa kila kitu kwa sijaiona ame amekuja na nikimuuliza inaleta shinda mingi sana. Mhm. Uh-huh. Kwanza kwani hakuna shopping ama inaleta shinda zangu. So to the day of my own tracks with the Miango and Gons time is the best time. Mhm. Uh-huh. Akapata uh, akapata kazi it was on September 2021. Mhm. Ah uh-huh. uh, akapata hiyo barua akakuta na barua ndio alikuwa anaenda anaamka asubuhi anaenda kuangalia anaalikuja anaambia kuna barua anaambia tu tuzindi kuomba siku ya Mungu itafika itafika siku ya Mungu itafika na ikafika na ikafika mm-hmm. so before is kwa Mungu ifike sasa that when hiyo before hiyo September sasa ndio nilichukua hilo nyingine tu mm-hmm. ndio 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 si hiyo nyumba sasa ilikuwa isha ya kwa mabati mm-hmm. na ilikuwa imeko ndilisha sasa sasa ni nyumba yenu specific nyumba yetu specific sasa mm-hmm. si ile yenye tunakaa si wote mhm iko imeko ndilisha mm-hmm. iko na vio lakini iko imeko mabati ya mabati na huko ndani mm-hmm. ndani iko ilikuwa imepigwa plaster iko na tiles mm-hmm. plaster za huku sign iliko imepigwa mm-hmm. na ndai kai remember very well hiyo pesa ya kupiga plaster huku nyumba ndani mimi ilikuwa li, nilikuwa niende live but sikuenda live. Uh-huh. Nikaamua anju hiyo hospitali nilikuwa walikuwa na wanakupa opportunity you choose kama uenda live uh-huh. ama uendelee wa kulipa extra. Uh-huh. I remember that for those years when nimefanya huko sijaienda live. Uh-huh. Nilikuwa na sacrifice ile proper kabisa. You get that extra money. I get call. that extra money uh-huh. at least to boost my. So I remember hiyo pesa ya hiyo ya hiyo alliance ya leave uh-huh. after ni siku enda i give him yote ndio ikaeka plaster sasa nyumba ikapiko plaster ndani uh-huh. so after nyumba ilipiko plaster sasa ilikuwa imebaki iko imebaki mimi sana na alikuingi sana kama ijakamilika uh-huh. but the moment ilikuwa anamwambia eh hii nyumba sasa juu ijabaki mingi ijabaki press mingi sasa itabidi sasa tujue mali tutatoa pesa tumalize njui nyumba tuko ni stress tuko kabisa sasa ndio niambie tutafute pesa so mi kama bibi mzuri na mwenye anataka kutoka nyumbeni kuna shida zingine ama mwenye anataka kukaa kwake aseto kwake sasa mm-hmm. <laughs> nikachukua roho nyingine <laughs> nikampea i remember giving him pesa tukaenda tukaangalia siri nikaangalia tiles kapatia kanunuizo tiles akanunua siri akanunua hizi cement uh-huh. ya kuweka hizo tiles uh-huh. but azikuwekwa at the moment jikuza zikaekwa kwa nyumba so nju, zilikuwa zimewekwa kwa nyumba sasa hiyo moment ya kununuizo vitu na nini ndio sasa alipata nini ile barua ya kwenda na kazi mhm uh-huh. alikuja ni ile barua ndio siku njioni alikuja naye njioni nikaniambia eh ni Nimefurahi sana Mungu amesikia maombi yako. Si yetu yako, yangu sasa. Yako sasa. <laughs> eh, mm-hmm. Mungu amesikia maombi yako. Mm-hmm. At least sasa nimepata barua. Lakini barua nimepata mm-hmm. nimetumwa mbali sana. Eh, Nikamuliza tena umerudishwa Mandela tena. Karambia hapana. Nimetumwa mbali sana. Nikamuliza wapi? Kaniambia Mombasa. Mm-hmm. Na usisahau hiyo time, hiyo mm-hmm. time sasa eh, nilikuwa nishapata second born. Mhm wapili sasa mm. and to take you back a retro mm-hmm. na kumbuka nikuwa na hiyo mimba hiyo mtoto wa pili kuna time alikuja ngatu alikuwa akitoka weekend anakuja sasa anataka so hiyo siku alikujanga alikujanga masubu ya subuhi kama kawaida si ametoka kuwatch ngine mm-hmm. so vile nilisikia gari imefika mm-hmm mlango imefungulewa lakini hajakuja kwa nyumba unajua hata kama mtu yuko kwa nyumba huwezi lala mpaka uone amerudi jujuji ya kwa api so most of the time usikuwa na lala mpaka anarudi akirudi ni saa hii sasa hii utapata uzingisi jujuji mali ametoka uko ama amepata kitu mbaya kwa barabara huwezi jua so vile ai niliona amekawia hajakuja kwa nyumba nikasema acha nitoke hivi nione So mimi nikatoka nikaenda kwa gari alikuwa anaongea na simu huko sasa nika I I overhand the conversation but 
si ku react the moment but what did you hear Okay, me this kuna I was talking to a certain lady. Uh-huh. So I don't know they were, were they were planning their things eh. Uh-huh. So me nikamuliza, vile alifungua mlango saa kuniona, ndio alishtuka sasa. Unafanya nini hapa? Kamuliza ni nini? Kwani kwani ni nani umnaongea nayo? So nikachukua simu nikaangalia the number. The number you know kuna zile namba na kuanga kweli nazo. Kamuliza it is the same same number. Sasa ndiye ni nisra. Like the same by Kumanisha. Nice. Kumanisha mm-hmm. I end an issue with that number again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You knew who was calling. I know who was calling. Mm-hmm. But sikuwa namjua physically but nilikuwa najua hiyo number. Mm-hmm. So yule niulize hivyo. Nilikuwa ya nani? It was a certain lady. So mm-hmm. mjui but nilikuwa na issue na hiyo number from even even before. Mm-hmm. Niame Mhm. Malikuwa anaishi malikuwa anafanya kazi the first place. Mhm. Uh-huh. We end an issue with that number. Mhm. Uh-huh. Without know the number. The owner of the number. Uh-huh. Eh, yeah. uh-huh. nilikuwa nataka kujua ni nani sana. But so kuiona nikamuliza that when he slept. So vile alinipiga mimi unajua nilitoroka na simu. Sasa nilikuwa najua hapa ni vipi? Ni vita tena. Bila kutoroka na simu sasa si alinishika. Eh. He didn't mind that I was fine man's pregnant uh-huh. he did a kick to me <laughs> what he had in piga had in piga ile sita hiyo baka ni piga kali piga eh dinjale soro ba huko kwa migo but mimi nilirudi kwa nyumba nikalala kesho yake asubuhi bibindi ni enda hospital but ilibindi ni ndangaji ndio ni mali nafanya kazi Ndio tu pale uliyofanya kazi pone yes. ulienda utibiwe. Yes. Ukasema u... nikasema nilianguka. Uh-huh. Ndio yeye ndiye alisuku. Nasema nilianguka sababu nilikuwa nataka wanichukue scan. Uh-huh. Na kama mtoto wako sawa. Mhm. Uh-huh. Yeah, so singeenda kusema kimepigwa. Oh, no. But ilikuwa imefika to an extent bas ile department ilikuwa inafanya kazi hiyo hospitali. Uh-huh. Nilikuwa najua nilikuwa na issues uh-huh. sana. Ndio mara na, na pigie inchange na mwambia ndio sio uh-huh. nini kikuja kazi niko na shinda fora ana reviza ni at times ilikuwa ina bindi uh-huh. ni open up niambie uh-huh. kwa hivi na hivi na hivi hayo akanizoea akanizoea hivyo mpaka sasa alimuita akaniambia this is too much uh-huh. so itabindi ujue vile utafa utafa so after sasa nilienda hospitali mimi sikurundi kwake ndo wazazi wake anasema usitari utakuwa sawa kama mtoto kwa sababu utakuwa sawa rudi mkae hizo ni shida za kawaida za familia uh-huh. inakuanga hivyo hey, my mom was so used to come by 6 hapo hapo ni shamu tibia 6 uh-huh. anakuja the way from home anakuja kutatua mashinda na mashinda yaishi so ni kama hiyo imefika to an extent ya to wait for my decisions uh-huh. so mimi nilitoka hiyo siku nilirudi after nilienda hospitali nikarudi but nikuja nikachukua vitu nikaenda tena nikaenda tena nikakumbwa mahali tena sasa so i'm pregnant mm-hmm. nikuna huyo mtoto mwingine mm-hmm. na nimerent alafu niko na kazi nafaa niende mm-hmm. na sina mstana so ilibindi nirudi tena rudi sasa kwa bwana yako kwa bwana yangu tena mm-hmm. ilibindi nirudi eh nikirudi ni matusi tu hai sije yona mwanamke mjinga kama wewe mm-hmm. hmm? Una, unatoka unaenda na unarudi kwani unakaanga aje hauna kwenu hivyo ndivyo alikuwa anakuambia ndivyo alikuwa anauliza mm. kwani hauna kwenu na kufukuza hapa nusiki kutoka si hivyo umejenga hiyo nyumba mm. hiyo nyumba utailala hata siku moja ah eh. alinambia ngai mark my ones mm. hiyo nyumba utalala siku hata moja Mwilea nyumba si. ya bedroom statu Yeah. Na wewe ndio umesaidia yeah, kujenga. Yes. Mm-hmm. Na kaniambia hivyo. Na loan kwanza. Na loan hata si hata pesa ya kuaso. Mimi mm-hmm. unachukua loan unakatwa. Hata wengine ukisikia watu wanasema tumelipwa. Mm-hmm. Hata utaki kusikia hiyo sauti. Hiyo mm-hmm. story wanaongea eti wamelipwa. Ndio mm-hmm. sasa kuna kitu unaendea. Mm-hmm. Na wewe unafanya kazi. Na unafanya kazi. Na uko na matumizi mengine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So nikaendelea hivyo sasa after sasa sasa hiyo saa time ndio sasa alitoka zaenda uh-huh. so si ameacha materials zimebaki kwa nyumba hizo tile ceiling cement na kila kitu sasa so, amepata kazi akaenda after before i end i, I remember that night <laughs> alikuwa amejifanya hey i'm leaving you sasa so, nitafanya aje 
Umepata kazi lakini sisikii kuacha. Eh? Ati sikii kuacha. Sikii kuacha na watoto. Mhm. Tafanya aje sasa. Hizo ni ndai no it was his happiness. Mhm. Alikuwa anauliza atatoka hapo saa ngapi? So I remember after sasa akanyonyesha barua sasa akashuka huko kwa mama yao. Huko babake na mamake wanaka. So I think aliyewapelekea barua waone. So after kurudi akarejea sasa mimi nitaenda aile kutoka January nikipande alafu ni wakujia. Mhm. Sitaki mkae huku. Huku hata unajua vile kuko. Kuko na shinda mingi. Mara mnabishanishwa. Hao wazazi wataki kuona mtu akiwa na kitu. Unajua the moment yako na mimi. Mhm. <laughs> Ataniambia story za kwao mm -hmm. na watu wao. Mm -hmm. But I knew I came later to realize that nila time wanataka kitu kutoka ni kwangu. Sasa akitaka na mimi naona vinya wataki tujenge, sijui tuwalakisha nyumba yetu tuame tujenge iishe tu tu fence kwetu hapo at least tumeanza kufanya kitu. Sasa hii kukiwa hivi uweze kufanya anything to shamba si yako. Naona So akapata kazi before aende babake akatuita akaniita mimi na ye. Mhm. Uh -huh. Sasa Unaona sasa bwanako amepata kazi na ametumwa mbaye. Na sasa sasa sababu amerundi kazi ile kitu naweza kuomba. Msikue mnaimuitisha pesa. Uh -huh. <laughs> Nikamuliza aje. Pesa ikuwe ya nini? Nikamuliza aje. Kuniambia, mm -hmm. eh, musikuwa muna muitisha pesa. Ile kitu mdagua muna fanya. Kama ni giveri hiko, mdagua muna kula giveri. Mm -hmm. Mkipata njine, bangoni, dress, muna kula. But sahi pesa, apare kwa muliza pesa, itakui naenda wapi. Mm -hmm. Nakaniambia, hiyo pesa sasa nataka ni mwenyeshe. Mm -hmm. Mwagi atakua na nunuwa mashamba. Unaoni mashamba, unaoni chandipata siwa wa TV, mm -hmm. kila mali. Hiyo ndiyo nataka ni mwenyeshe mali ya tanunuwa. Nikamwambia sasa tutaishi aje mimi niko na Aaron. Na hata yeye mwenyewe anajua. Akaniambia sasa hivyo ndivyo kuko. Eh. Mimi sikuichukua ikiwa serious. Unajua mimi nikuongea na ongea. Na sasa wakati huo mwanako anasema nini kuhusu hiyo maneno ya Eh amenyamaza tu. Amenyamaza. Unajua washaongea tayari. Mm. Washaongea na washakubaliana. Sasa ni mimi wanataka niambie waone ile yake. Upangwe. Yes, nipanda eh. pango vizuri sasa. Mhm. Nikamwambia mimi sikuongea. Njo sasa nitasema aje. Siku ya kufika ya kwenda ikafika. Akaenda. Sasa mimi nikabaki. Sasa ikakuwa imeisha miezi tatu lazima nirudi kazi. Jo mtoto mdogo amefika hiyo matane terivu imeisha. Sitabindi nitafuta msichana wa kazi. Sasa unajua niko na roho mbili, nyingine siko nimemaliza mm. na nyingine nimechukua sasa. Eh. Yeah. Ikaniumania. Jo sasa nimeongeza msichana wa kazi. Msichana msichana anataka pesa na sina. Yeye yeah, ashaenda amekaa huko. I think alikuwa ashamaliza mizi kama ina hivi. Mhm. Mm Tatemtu kwa tunaongea vizuri. Na communicate mtoko mkoaje, tukashawa watoto wakoaje. Lakini hakuna pesa. Mhm. Hakuna pesa inakuja. Hakuna pesa inakuja. Hataki mm -hmm. kujua tunaishi aje. Mhm. Mm Sio niko na huyo mtoto mtoko sasa. Msichana anataka pesa. Sasa ile kitu kidogo ilikuwa napata ilikuwa napea mstari. Nikipea msichana mimi nabaki. Hata siko nalipa yote. Tukisimsia siko na mlipa yote kuna ngia na yeye mwambie nitakuwa nakupea hii but uh -huh. hiyo nyingine nikipata nitakuwa nafanya hivi nakupea kaendelea hiyo msema alikuwa mzuri but unajua before hata aende alikuwa ameniambia nikifika huko nitakuangalia ile zile hospitali ziko huko nikutumie na wewe utumie application ukipata huku nje uh -huh. so my god like hata akutuma <laughs> mimi nilikuwa naenda na nguku kwa simu uh -huh. naona zile hospitali ziko huko Natuma. Natuma. Unajua na wandesi ni online application. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Nikapata moja. Nikamuambia. Sana nimepata. Nimeito interview hiyo hospitali. Na imeambua nisiku fulani ni kuja. Kile <laughs> ya liliambia. Uh -huh. Nikamuambia sasa juu na kuja. Nita kuja ni lade kwako. Uh -huh. Kishu yake ni amukia nini. Interview. Aliniambia si kwangu. Uh -huh. <laughs> kwangu wezi lala. 
Kwa nini? Ah. Sini bwana yako. Eh. Mhm. Hadi si kwangu. So unajua intention yake ilikuwa anipange, mm-hmm. nilibaki nyumbani, si ati alikuwa ni intention ya mimi niende huko. Hapa. Mm-hmm. Kaniambia si kwangu, kitaka kukuja kufanya interview kuna nyumba za kurent huko. Za kukomboa for mm-hmm. that night. Unaweza kuomba urare, jipange uende interview zako. Mhm. <laughs> si kuenda, ndio sababu bishambi huko sinyewe. Au kwenda interview. Si kuenda. Mm-hmm. Nikaachilia tu kuendelea kukaa hivi so vile tulibaki huko nyumbani sasa nika nikamwambia sasa juu sasa after yeye alienda za brother yake alianza madhara kwa nyumba anakuja anakuja sasa ile anataka na ikuja nyumba ivai kupungwa na hiyo nyumba ikataka kupungwa kwa na watoto huko huwezi jua huwezi jua nani anaweza ingia usiku ndio si tu hapo monitor nani anakuja mtu mwingine anaweza jua nyumba ifungangu ya kuja ingi ukifunga inaleta shinda mama yake hii nyumba ni watoto wangu imejenga watoto wangu wote upai kufunga so kuna hii time ilifika sina pesa akaanza kisa kuni block kila mahali ameni block kila mahali sasa kwa simu kwa simu uh-huh. facebook whatsapp ameni block simu yangu yaziingia na nikienda niombe Yangu nikimpigia yeye ziingia. Ndio nauliza bwanako. Yes sasa mm-hmm. mm-hmm. bwanangu sasa. Mimi ni broke sasa. Naisha ikakuwa ngumu. Siwezi piga. Nikienda kupika na ya mama yake, achuku excuse sauti tu. Mhm. Anakata. Nikuliza mama yake anaambia mimi sijui. Hata yangu ingii kwake. Lakini nikimwomba nipige inaingia excuse sauti. Mm-hmm. Anakata. Anakata. Wai, nikasema hapa hapa ile msti sasa yule msichana akaniambia stop hata kama stop umelia tena mm. nikamwambia shirile used to be encouraged me anambia ndio kuna time niko na nakaa hivi najikuta na ria tu niambia usijie mambo itakuwa sawa sio nikaona maisha imekuwa ngumu nikasema eh si niko na nguruwe hapa si uniuze nguruwe moja so mi, unajua sasa siwezi mpigia nimwambie ni nisendie na nguruwe moja niuze mm-hmm si ame broke si so nikasema baba mo si nini na lisha hizi nguruwe mhm acha juu sasa msichana anataka kwenda ni kwa pesa yake nyingi acha niuze nguruwe ni mulipe alafu zije stabaki nuno nuno vitu za nyumba at least nikiona kitakukula kwa nyumba nyingine itakuwa na shinda ndio na kadafuta watu kuuzia nguruwe <laughs> ile sasa walikuja wakaona nguruwe Baba yake aliona akikuja akuwa na shinda sasa hiyo. Wakaingia kwa nguruwe. Ndomwambia nauza hii nguruwe. Akani akaniambia pesa, ndomwambia asiyo nataka pesa fulani. Akaniambia ni sawa. Nguruwe zilikuwa poa, zilikuwa zinalishwa vizuri. Mhm. Uh-huh. Ni bindi yangu. Uh-huh. <laughs> Anakuja akaniambia ni sawa. Tupatane huko market sasa nikupe pesa, halafu nikuja na watu wa kuchukua waende nayo mbesa babake asha mpigia simu nguruwe zinauzo mm-hmm. akaniambia nilikuwa nimekupea moja lakini nimesema nguruwe siuzo na ka block simu tena nikampigia ingi si sasa ameachia babake kila kitu anambia babake sasa so, bila watu walikuja wasema kana kuna nguruwe inatoka hapo mta mmoja na ulikuwa umepewa pesa nilikuwa nishapewa pesa nilikuwa mm-hmm. na pesa sasa Unajua sasa nikaambia mtu mimi nimekuzia nguruwe chukua nguruwe uende uh-huh. akasema hapana Tumeambua tukupeleka kwa polisi tuseme umekataa na pesa. Tala. Na nani sasa? Na yeye sasa aliopiga akawaambia mpelekeni polisi mseme ameombia pesa. Uh-huh. Nguruwe si za si zake. Ijuru mimi siko nataka wabibi ndivindi ni nipeane pesa. Uh-huh. So after kupeana pesa after the wedding day nguruwe ziliuzwa zote zote tukapatiwa pesa ngapi wewe hakuna hakuna saizo watoto wanakula nini ilikuwa imefika mahali hmm. okay nilikuwa naenda kwa mtu namwambia ni nipe ni perufu moja nitakurudisha ni perufu mbili nitakurudisha sasa ikabindi ile ngombe sasa madhari ilikuwa imenipea mhm hawataki nayo na ni yangu sasa mhm hawataki nayo sasa so, father akawambia akawambia anataka nimemwambia ngombe yangu irudi huko mhm sasa so, nililipa gari kachukua ngombe ikarudi huko 
But after you come to the room, you can't use it. 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 You can't Nanda ni kano nua baadhi, nanga sema na hinda kutafuta wiyo mtu sasa. Juu simu yingi. Sasa wotoke hapa, wende mombasa ukatafuta. Yeah. Mhm. Yasa masasa, juu sasa inaka atusaindi tu kio mbali. Mhm. Nambi tu kienda uko, atatusaindi. Mhm. Akiwa ona hapa ndiyo atawasaindi. Mhm. Sio ni kauzi ya ngombe ni kachuku a pesa, ni kapanga siku. Nika njusa simu yangu yingi nikaenda kwa anko yake uh-huh. nikaambia anko yake ampigie simu amwambie si tunaenda huko yeye alimpigia baada ya kumwambia waambia akikuja nishaudia uh-huh. akuji kwa wangu <laughs> ulikuwa unajua naenda wapi wewe sikuwa najua naenda wapi uh-huh. ushuka stage sijui usiona vile tuk tuk zinakujanga tu <laughs> karibu sana unaenda wapi amwambia mimi naenda likoni uh-huh. <laughs> Unaenda likoni wapi? Nikasema acha nikuwe open kidogo hata kama simjui. Mhm. Juu sasa hapa niko na mizuko. Angudo wewe ni kwa nimefanya hadi shopi. Ah. Umpelekee. Eh. Ndio ndio a good way. Ngo nimefanya hadi shopi. Mhm. Sasa niko na mizuko niko na bag. Sasa nikamuliza nikamwambia naenda shule fulani. Mhm. Nataka unifikishe huko. Akaniambia ni sawa nitalipa pesa hii nikamwambia ni sawa lakini akaniambia kama unataka nikukisha feri bando ukiwa kwa tuktuk uh-huh. utalipa hii kiasi kwani mimi najua uh-huh. sijai kanyanga kwa tena uh-huh. so kwa avoid mambo mingi na kumwambia ni sawa yeah, nikamwambia ni sawa si niko na pesa uh-huh. ni ngombe nimeuza uh-huh. <laughs> na umeenda na shopping na umeenda na shopping nimefanya shopping kali sana uh-huh. <laughs> nikaenda nikaingia kwa feri tukavuka hiyo saa nyingine Asubuhi asubuhi saa kulikuwa kunanyesha mjini mbaya sana. Tukafika Mwaima. Huyu mtu anarudiza unaenda kwa nani? Si mpigie simu, si kuonyesha. Kwa nini simu inaingia? Haingi. Na na mimi na communicate na kazi yangu. Muombie, muombie. Sasa mpaka huyu mtu akaniuliza, unajua mahali unaenda? Nikamwambia yeye acha nikwambie kweli. Mwenye naenda kwake amenizimia nini? Simu. Simu. Akaniambia nipe namba yake. Nikampea akamtia sasa ndiye alianza kumtetesha bye bye mm-hmm. unakaa je sijui nini bibi na watoto wako huku na hutaki kuchukua simu akapata simu sasa ndiyo nikamwambia kazi yangu mwambie kama tukuji tunaenda wapi shule hata mm-hmm. kutukuta huko shule si bora yake tumefika mm-hmm. na najua atakuja kazi na kusikia tunaenda shule ndio sasa alikuja <laughs> akuwa na bibi yake anataka aibu mm-hmm. kwa shule tukaenda pale aga tukupeleka kwa nyumba basi kupika tu simi six akao akato mhm aenda kazi eh simi ni kona shopping <laughs> si kuna ngasi hapo ikapikia watoto kwa nimebeba ile maziwa ya ya, ya unga unga ikapikia watoto ya katoka kazi jioni lakini he kelele first day kelele tu anapikia wazazi wake ana anasikia bila naongea mama wabaya na uko hapo na kumwambia sasa nikamwambia nitafutie fear nirundi mail he was very happy well yeye ona akiwa amefurahi huko mhm aka akasema nitawalipia nitawalipia mrudi na akalipa <laughs> akaenda akalipa gari tukarudi mail we kurundi mail sasa kufika nyumbani kwao nje tulirundi kwao nitakuwa nishinda so ni point gani ambapo sasa uliambiwa hapa hautakaa tena So after sasa ni kwanza mlimaliza nyumba. Yeah, nyumba ili sasa after haiku imemalizika hiyo time sasa uh-huh. lakini ilikuwa sasa ilikwisha kwa siri sasa. Uh-huh. Taesa zikuwa zimewekwa. Uh-huh. Nakumbuka taesa zikuwa zimewekwa. Na vio azikuwa zimewekwa but ile time sasa kuna time nilituma mtu akuje anipimie hizo vio, apime uh-huh. vio za nyumba. Sasa babake akamuuliza unapima vio ukiwa ndani ni utaeka. Uh-huh. <laughs> kwa mtu wa kurundi tena mm-hmm. alienda akienda so bila turirudi sasa si niko ile nyumba mm-hmm. yani nikasema hapana nyumba si rudi 
nikaenda saa kwa hiyo ndilisha zenye azikuwa na ndilisha nikasema sasa as long as iko na milango hii ya chuma mm-hmm. nilikuwa na milango mm-hmm. naweza funga na kufudi nikasema ndio ina ndilisha hii hiyo haijawekwa hiyo nitaeka mm-hmm. tu vitu kwa hiyo ndilisha ngana katafuta fry udi kakongere eh by the time ile babake aliona eh nilikuwa vita sana sijui na haribu nyumba na haribu nyumba sifai kukaa kwa nyumba kama itamalizika afamkigia nasema tutoke turudi kwa hiyo nyumba ingine so tukarudi hapo lakini afurudi hapo ikakuwa chaotic sana kabisa akuje nyumbani kabisa hata odi day mm-hmm. akuje nyumbani zake miaka kama ngapi Akwa mwaliza mwaka hiyo mm-hmm. linde yuko imefuatilia ndio tulirudi I think tulirudi before August sasa mm-hmm. Nasikia mama yake akimpigia simu anamwambia hata hakuna haja ya kukuja unakuja kufanya nini huku hakuna kitu ya maana imebaki huku ah. Ndipo nisikia hiyo Wewe na watoto mko huko Huko hakuna mm. kitu ya maana imebaki huku Waenda Nairobi kwa mbara zako umalize mm. hizo wiki mbili urudi kazini Mimi kumuliza ilikuwa shinda sana nimeanza kukula nini kwa wazazi wake na ongelesha vile nataka. Sasa nilifika mahali nikaona yenyewe hapa uh-huh. nimejioa. Hapa <laughs> <laughs> nimejioa. Hapa nimejioa. <laughs> nimejioa na si, sioni hiyo. Uh-huh. Mimi na watoto hivi tu. Uh-huh. Nikaamua kuitana. Nikasema acha niita wazazi wangu. Hapo wewe ndio bwana na ndio bibi. Yeah. Kama bwana kuji nyumbani. Uh-huh kwani ni nini wewe umebaki huko na hataki kujua mm-hmm. watu wao wanakuona zijui kama nini ushaambua wewe ni stranger it means haujulikani mhm hai tukani kawa ni kamia mahadhi ni kaapia mahadhi na shosho yangu nikamwambia mkuje siku fulani fulani mimi niwapea date ni mwenyewe mm-hmm. sasa wazazi wake nikawaambia but walibaki wakapiga hao mahadhi na shosho kwa mwambia wasikuje mwanamke itanangi mikutano ah. <laughs> Kimira ya mwanamke itanangi mikutano. Mhm. Lakini mwanae akawaambia, "Ukisikia mtoto ameitana, mhm. Lazima niku. Mm-hmm. Na o, nyumba uliacha. Nyumba niliacha. Mm-hmm. Nilisikia hiyo siku hiyo wiki nilitoka iliyekwa tayari na kila kitu. Mhm. Ile tayari zako tulikuwa tuliza ni bebe. Mhm. <laughs> Aliyeka kila kitu hiyo nyumba. Na ni ukweli hauko ilala vile alisema. Siku ilala. Mhm alisema i promise you utaidara na sije idara ati hiyo siku nilienda kuweka hiyo hiyo fry ndi kwa hiyo ndilisha nilale uh-huh. siku ilala nju babake alimpigia uh-huh. na yeye akasema itoleo mara hiyo hiyo okay yeah loan loan bando oh, ijaisha si loan loans loans bando ijaisha ju the moment nilitoka huko nilikuwa na kata kata uh-huh. but Unajua kuna zile areas bila tulikuwa tunachelewa kulipa mm-hmm. penalties penalties mm-hmm. bando zilikuwa alafu na, unajua na service loan mbili mm-hmm. so mali nilitoka nilikuwa na loan hiyo nilikuwa nalipa mm-hmm. but ikifika mahali nasikia hapana eh, mm-hmm. nikilipa kuna kitu napata na ruka ruka tu hivyo mm-hmm. so bila nilitoka huko si sasa nimetoka huko definitely kwetu kutoka kwetu kuona huko hospitali kwa fanya nilikuwa natumia kama mia mia ina ina day nilifanya fanya kidogo nikasikia hapana. Mm-hmm. So yeye ndiye kuacha kazi. Mm-hmm. Nilikaa nyumbani sana bila kazi. So bila nilikaa nyumbani, si bando ile roni inaendelea ku kwa community interest na hotel. So kendele ikikuwa kubwa sana. Kwa hivi sasa imefika ngapi? Sai sai zote mtoto ni ya kwanza ya kwanza ya na yenye imidia community sana ikafika mpaka 2017 sana. Mhm. Alafu ingine ilikuwa batch 2016. Juzo zote zilikuwa zina kwa interest. Kila mm-hmm. mwezi kila mm-hmm. mwezi. Kwa hivyo ni around 500. Around 500. Mhm. Mm-hmm. Eh niko na maswali kadhaa. Yes. Atutaingilia mambo ya koti. Hapo yeah. pahali mlifikishana. Yeah. Eh emotions ambazo zilikuwa unapata as you are doing all this yeah. unajua pahali mmepelekana ile safari mmepelekana na yale ambayo umepata to a point that hata hiyo nyumba huwezi ingia yeah. ni gani ni emotions gani alikuwa na mitusi sana mhm uko na feel aje okay nilikuwa na feel mbaya mm-hmm. sana andi wa leo ile feel bad mhm njoo niliona nilinvest mahali sikuwa 
Na the worst mistake I didn't ni kutumia pesa ya loan. Mhm. Ingekuwa ni pesa yenye nimetafuta aina ya loan, mm-hmm. ingekuwa mbeta. Mm-hmm. Hivi sasa hii niko na loan, hiyo mm-hmm. pesa mali ni invest. Mhm. Ilibaki kwa hiyo nyumba. Ni nyumba yenye usigaingia, mm-hmm. ndio na singode. So I regret a lot sababu mm-hmm. ingekuwa ni invest mali nyingine mimi nilisema nilirudi shule. Niko mm-hmm. ndio ni na mbeta position. Mm-hmm. Yeah na yale ambayo umepitia hadi kwa sasa imechange vile unaangalia ama unaweza perceive relationships to be sincere mhm ime imefanya ni change sana tu sijui kama naweza ku na relationship sema ukweli sababu I have that fear. Mm-hmm. I have that fear sababu sababu mtu ana, anakuambia tukanye hivi na wewe umejikomet kwa kufanya hiyo kitu. Mm-hmm. In your mind ukijua mnafanya kitu mjiendeleze nyi wawili ama na familia yenu. Mm-hmm. But uh, as I is for now see si, si them I'm, I'm that stable to say me kuko ni relationship. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So wewe unge advise mtu ambaye ako kwa situation kama yako aje manake wanatazama maybe kuna mtu anapitia eh, ama ako just about to make that decision and they achukue loan mm. eh, wafanye Kenya wewe ulifanya kujenga nyumba eh, mupata independence yenu na privacy yenu ukuwe na nyumba yenu as a couple or as a family na pengine atajipata pale kama huko utamweleza nini Kimi tena naweza waambia mm-hmm. They should think fast. In decision nafanya itanisaidia aje. Mm-hmm. What if the decision nimeamua leo ikatai kuwak kutaenda aje. Ju say what are your brand is? Mm-hmm. It's better to invest in yourself first. Hata Linda sasa waambia they invest in themselves first. Mm-hmm. Then in yao mengine atakuja baadaye sababu sasa ukiinvest in yourself utakuwa unatumia kuseme pesa kama ile ya roho. Mhm. Mimi utakuwa unatumia zile vitu zingine unapata pata kidogo kidogo mm-hmm. out of what you have kill. Mm-hmm. Si hiyo. Mhm. Lakini sasa hivi umetumia roho kujenga nyumba kama hiyo unajua ile ni ndeni uko nayo lazima utalipa. Mm-hmm. Lakini ukitumia pesa yenu unapata kwa vitu zingine ndio itakuwa chungu. Mm-hmm. Si kama sasa hivi unalipa ile roho. Juu mimi ikifika ikifika end month. Mm-hmm. Sile watu wamesema wamelipwa kitirile mm-hmm. acts me sababu so, naona ile kitu mende hakuna ile kitu sasa hiyo hiyo pesa kidogo imebaki lazima nilishe watoto mm-hmm. lazima watoto wabaye sasa hii hata sinanga kufanya kazi i do the work alo niko hapa niko pale na, naendea watoto mbio na wapeleka kwa nyumba mm-hmm. I come na wapikia sababu hata ile pesa ya kulipa wafanyikazi zile. So it it hurts me mm-hmm. sana. Nikikumbuka yeye ni Ron alipa na ni Ron haikunisaidii mwenyewe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Eh unaona kama ulitumika vibaya? Yeah. Mimi nilitumika vibaya. Mm-hmm. Nataka sema nilitumika vibaya sababu hiyo iko plan yangu. Mimi sikuwa nataka maisha inakaa hivyo. Mhm. Nikuwa nataka maisha ile. Mm-hmm. Niko na familia yangu naishi na watoto wangu na baba yao. Mm-hmm. Na tena nilikuwa nataka kujiendeleza kwa masomo yangu. Of which it I japen and you are there. Amba I'm just stagnant. Mm-hmm. Hata kama saa hii vile watu wanajaza hizi nini za kwenda overseas mm-hmm. kufanya kazi huko. Mm-hmm. Na jaribu na shimba sababu hiyo process inahitaji pesa. Mm-hmm. Na mimi najaribu vile naweza save ingiane kabisa. Mm-hmm. So inabindi ni kwa tu na baki pale tu na hiki tu ndio naona inanipea most of the thing and don't I'm always lonely mm-hmm. acha niseme hivyo mm-hmm. na stressed up sababu naona kuna kitu inaenda through mm-hmm. I'm trying on my best but yet my kitu inaenda through mm-hmm. yeah. na nikuulize why is it that ni wewe ulichukua loan na yeye haku hangechukua hiyo time wako wa kazi mm-hmm hiyo tema kwa kazi uh-huh. na that why alinitumia mimi ndio uh-huh. aliona sasa mimi niko kazi ya yuko uh-huh. but ile tema alirundi kazi hata uh-huh. ile unaniyanga mtu acha nikusaidie miezi 2 3 hakuna hakuna 
e, so unasema imekufanya uka stagnate ni stagnate a lot mm-hmm. i'm always kind of depressed mm-hmm. depression in iliku imeset him mm-hmm. but and then gone even to to the hospital administrator mm-hmm. to alinielewa mm-hmm. at hiyo time nikuta kutafuta kazi mm-hmm. nikuja kwake nikamuelezea nikamwambia the vile situation iko na akanipea kazi na after hapo akanipea mahali pa kukaa mm-hmm. alikuwa amenipea hiyo nyumba nikae for one year the first year one year kwa stani kwa nakata pesa but sai unajua nyumba ukikaa ni ya plus sasa unajua adinyenye ni ndere but si free for kama ya kitambo mhm na ndio ndakiwa huko mhm alinielewa mhm na kanipea kazi na huwa na na ni encourage sababu mm-hmm. these people sasa wenyewe walikuwa menisaidia Aaron from uko kwa sasa mhm walikuwa wameanza ndi kunifuata kazi ndi wale wananifuata mm-hmm. but wanakuja ndi kwa kwa the hospital administrator but anawaambia mtampea tay mhm you have to give that time mm-hmm. but i came to realize later one of them yao wenyewe walizania road mm-hmm alinitumia anga namba ya huyo baba watoto akaniuliza unajua hii namba mm-hmm. nikamwambia yeye akaniuliza ni nani sikumwambia ti first ni 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 baba watoto mm-hmm. nikamwambia mimi mm-hmm. ni mmoja wenu mm-hmm. mwenye nilisaidia ni hilo mm-hmm. akaniambia hey, this man is really pushing us mm-hmm. to do what wakuje huko mm-hmm. wakujie pesa yao mm-hmm ana mimi ana kaa kiuliza tuko wangapi twende tuchukue hiyo pesa sahii aliadhibiwa si kama ile time yako nini yako yani, kazi mm, waende pesa kwapi walikujie kazi mali nafanya kazi akujie pesa mali nafanya kazi mm. sasa so, ekem to your rise intention yake ni alikuwa anataka ni kunimalizia kazi mm. yeah do the moment alikuwa anawapushi wakuja and kwa administrator mm. kuniadhibia ka walikuja mm. na wenyewe walikuja mm. Kanyo alikuja ndio huko but ukambua the given time. Uh-huh. Mm. Sasa ungetaka mtu ambaye anatazama na angetaka kukusupport ama kusimama na wewe ni support gani ambayo wewe ungehitaji? Ile support inaweza kwamba saa hii kama hizi vitu hizi loans zinaweza niondokea uh-huh. sababu the moment uko kazi kama bali nafanya kazi mimi ni mali gusto the time au na simu yako hapo mm-hmm. so either ukipigwa mtu akuchukulia kurete uitike mm-hmm. simu so unaweza sikia hao watu wanakaa ukipigia simu na then wanakaa ukipigia simu na then mara unasikia unaitwa kwa ofisi unakaa ukistuka stuka mm-hmm. hao watu ni wenye wanaweza kuwa nakujia ni bisi pesa so unaweza omba mwenye anaweza nisaidie hizi bonds zimeondoke mm-hmm na pia kama unaweza pata the way ya ku process hizi documents zote mhm maybe hata nikienda kazi huko basis i can get a better job i clear the loans yeah that is where i was going eh? unaweza kosa mtu akukulipia loans yeah. but upate mtu anaweza kushika mkono aku guide vile utajaza hizi documents and then if you're traveling you si unaweza sukumia loan yeah i can mm-hmm. i can yeah unajua mm-hmm. sahii siwezi sababu huko hakuna kitu tunapata uh-huh. hata ku process document na kila kitu hakuna uh-huh. siwezi sasa hivi now siwezi uh-huh. yeah but if you are able to to go through that process then you'll be okay i will be okay uh-huh. nitajilipia ro uh-huh. na nitakuwa sawa just sitakuwa na stress jo is e kitu imeni affect ni kama sasa hata nimepeleka watoto jo pole pole to be well Tulipewa. Kwa times I'm become so annoyed. Mhm. Hata mtoto akiniuliza kitu kidogo. Nakuta nimemshautia. Mhm. Hata huyo mdo, huyo mkupa sasa, ni kama amepata hiyo hata yeye. Ni kama kind of kuna trauma. Amekuwa na hiyo trauma. Mhm. 
kama kuna mtaneza ni saidia kwa kumwongelesha jua na niuliza na maswali mengi anti na shindo kumweleze uh-huh. but all you wanted is a good place for you to live yeah yeah and what kind of support ulipata kutoka kwa family mm-hmm. na friends kwa vile ni kwa sana family yangu ilisimama na mimi na some of my friends kitu hiyo time siko na kazi ilibindi nilindi nyumbani kwa nakaa nyumbani mhm uh-huh. watoto pia ni after nilikuja huko nyumbani niliwatafutia shule uh-huh. na wao ndio walikuwa wanasaidia kulipa school fees uh-huh. na vitu za matumizi za watoto uh-huh. and some of my friends too na walinisaidia sana even through prayers and uh, even financially uh-huh. yeah okay uh-huh. uh, it was a very significant investment yeah. uh, kujenga hiyo nyumba ulifilaji wakati hiyo relationship ilikatika now you have to go separate ways okay ni feel vibaya ndio iko intention yangu uh-huh. the intention was to this our children together uh-huh. at kuna family nzuri uh-huh. lakini ikwenda hivyo it depends a lot uh-huh. yeah and uh, suppose now if you are to go back yeah eh uh, You know you know you know something right now. Yeah. What kind of a decision would you make? To go back if you are to go back uh, to that time that you're yeah. making that decision when as I make namna gani? Ah, ningerudi hapo hiyo miaka. I think I make decision kama hiyo. It's better n- I could do something else. Uh-huh. Kama ni kusoma nisome hiyo. Unajua hii hakuna mwanyanaweza ninyang'anya. Uh-huh. Lakini hiyo ni kitu mtu ameenda nayo na ameenda tu na ni lakini ningefanya kitu kingine kama masomo. Uh-huh. Hata kama tungeachana hivyo tuliachana bado ningeenda tu na ningekuwa na certificate zangu. Uh-huh. But for now siku benefit na hivyo. Asante purity hmm. kushare story yako na sisi because you had good intentions. Yeah. I think somewhere someone took advantage of your your kindness. Yeah. But we also bring for the future of your children. Yeah. Uh, both are girls. Yeah, girls, yeah. Yes, we are bring for the future of your two girls. And even for yourself. Your ambition uko nayo isififie ndoto yako isikufe. Yeah. Sindio? Yeah. We appreciate for your time and Thank all the you. very best. Thank you. Tuko family that's the story of purity she had one goal to have a family home today she doesn't have it neither does she have that marriage she's asking for guidance in traveling overseas and working there would you be the help that she requires my name is Kimori Wangeshi this has been my story right here on Tuko thank you so much for watching Thank you.